I want to start talking about light intensity. You can think of that as how strong or how bright is the light at some distance from the source. The next lab is going to actually address this. Source being a light bulb or a star, whatever happens to be shining. <coughs> so let's think about it like this. I talked about last time, if there's a light here, make the light a interesting color, I'll make it red. <coughs> think of it as the sun even. <coughs> that would be yellow in that case. But it's some distance away from this, how, how strong is the light? So you could say, you know, at that distance there, make this black so that, or at that distance there, or whatever distance, how bright is the light? All right, so that's what we're interested in. As I get further away from the source, how bright is it? Now, you might imagine as I get further away from a point source like this, I'll call it a point source because it's as if the light were coming from a point. You might say, well, a star or a light bulb isn't a point. It's a little sphere. But as you get further and further away from it, it seems like a point. It seems really small. And very often, a lot of what we're talking about, you're pretty far away from the source. So you can think about, about it as a point. In the lab, that the next lab that's coming up, we're going to be looking at different types of sources of light and how bright the light gets as you get further away from it. But we're going to start with a point source. That's the most common one. And we'll talk about other types of sources uh, a little bit later in a separate lecture. But for a point source, you could think of the brightness. And I'm going to uh, write the light brightness or light intensity as I. So this is light intensity. It has something to do with the power of the light that's coming out. And we talked about power in the last lecture. Remember, it's current times voltage. Well, if all of that power was converted into light, uh, we'd know how bright the light is. Basically, you know, the more, uh, the greater the watts, because power is measured in watts, the brighter the light's going to be. So the intensity is related to the power, but it's also related to how far away you are from the source. Now, if you think, Let's think about this, like if there's a certain amount of power being uh, produced here and you take a shell, uh, a 3D shell around it, like a globe where the, where the light bulb's at the center of it, but then you're surrounding it by a giant ball. At any point on the ball, how much of that power is received? And that is the intensity, the, the amount of power received per unit area of the ball. So in other words, if this were a ball of some radius, I'll say it's a radius R, and there's a little square here. How bright is the light on that square? How intense is it? Maybe is a better way to put it. And that, that intensity would have units of, as you might imagine, watts per square meter. That tells you how intense the light is. And the way we calculate that is we take the power that's being produced by the, by the light at the center here and divide it by, what do you think you divide it by? Well, what's the surface area of a sphere? Whoop. 